Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm super excited because I'm trying another UK indie brand and another one of my try at least one indie brand a month and I'm super excited that it is another UK indie brand. So I picked up the £20 mystery bag from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. Um, so this is the bag. Um, I'm going to take things out one at a time and show you what I received. I did look them up on the website to see what the, the cost was. So I'll let you know all of that. Um, the brand is owned by a really beautiful person. Um, inside and out from everything I have gathered so far. Um, her name is Tori. So yes, let's get on into this mystery bag. So... The first thing I have here is a brush set. Loving that it's bright orange. So, I received a brush set. I believe there are 20 brushes in this set. And on the website, it has them, where is it? Um, retailed for eight pounds, that's British pounds. So this is product number one. And then let's just dip in. Um, the next product is a powder puff now i couldn't find this on the website however they did have some fan shaped powder puffs um so i'm not really a powder puff person but my daughter is so this will have an amazing home to go to right next up we have this here and this is what are you called pressed shade shift glitter pan and the shade is invasion now these retail for eight pounds fifty each and that's again british pounds that's what i'm talking in throughout this video just so i don't repeat myself too much i'm gonna leave the powder puff in its bag because that will be going to my daughter <laughs> please excuse jace so the shadow invasion although it says glitter pan um, it appears to be an eyeshadow, um, so I am going to swatch this. Yeah, it's not glitter. Oh my word. This is on my finger. I don't know how much you're going to see. So I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand here. It's a really bad swatch. I'm getting used to these nails, so apologies if I am a bit clumsy on things yes this is the shade invasion um it's like a real nice blue to green shift definitely my kind of eyeshadow okay so the next product i have here is a metallic lip gloss i have it in the shade flame which is this beautiful orange these retail for £10.99 each. So I'm just going to swatch that on my hand next to... Ooh, next to the eyeshadow. That is pretty. That's got some nice pigment. Okay, not mad at that. Um, then next we have... We have a loose pigment, um, so loose pigment shade shift eyeshadow. I have the shade Cotton Candy. Just get it out of the box. Um, these retail for £6.75 each. I'm loving the little thing there. Um, I don't know how I'm going to swatch this. Um, it's got a little sifter lid. Um, so I'm just going to tap a little bit into the lid here and I think I'm just going to get um, a flat brush, what can I spray you with? I'm just going to spray it with some of my P. Louise set in stone. Um, so I've just sprayed the brush. I'm going to dip that in what is in that lid. And then just dipping that brush in there, I'm going to pop that on my hand. 
I don't know if this setting spray is necessary, necessarily the best thing for this. Um, I have got some mixing medium. I don't know why I didn't use that. But there we go. This is just to kind of give you an idea of the shade. So this is cotton candy that is so pretty it's got a really nice pink shift i love the look of that okay so next up is a duochrome liquid eyeshadow i have the shade cassiopeia let's get that out of the box and this is the shade so i'm gonna swatch that i think i'm gonna swatch that kind of above let me do it so you can see. Right, okay, terrible swatch, Steph. Terrible swatch. But this is a really beautiful purple to blue geochrome. Please excuse my terrible swatching. I am no good at swatching <laughs> liquid eyeshadows. And then lastly, I have this glitter gel and I have it in the shade Capella. These retail for £8.99. Did I say how much the... I don't think I did. The Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadow, they retail for £9.95. Yes. And then these glitter gels retail for £8.99 so this is the glitter gel here so I'm just gonna open up you get an awful lot in here okay so it's got a stopper thing in there um so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a bit off of that stopper and I'm going to pop that kind of over over this area here okay as you can see it's got really nice green green reflect I hope I'm catching that on camera so let's get the stopper back in here so as I don't make a mess everywhere which I'm pretty sure I've already done but hey hi so this is the glitter gel and there's like purple to green i can see purple to green let me know what you can see so yes those are the products i received in my 20 pound mystery bag so let's pop some of these on my face um i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna do this yet but we'll see. So I'm going to clean this off, get my eyes primed, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, guys, so I've popped on some eye primer. I used the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, and yeah, I popped on an, just a matte shadow because obviously there isn't one amongst all of this. So I just used one from my Mica Beauty Shop Glacier palette. So the first product I'm going to go in with is the Shift Shade eyeshadow in the shade Invasion. And I've got out one of the brushes. Now I felt these brushes and I honestly have to say I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the brushes. But I'm going to use what I can for this video. And I'm going to take that across the whole of my lid Ooh. i haven't put anything on apart from like my eyeshadow primer potion there's no glitter primer i haven't sprayed the brush i'm just applying this and that is pretty Look at that. That's definitely my shade. Ooh. 
really opaque, really shifty. I hope the shift's showing up on camera because that is stunning. I wanted to put this across like the whole of my lid just because I wanted to give it the chance to shine. I'm thinking I'm going to use the liquid eyeshadow as a liner so that we get a nice duochrome wing. That is pretty. Okay, I'm I am not mad at that at all. That is so pretty. I'm going to bring that out so I don't want to go in with any more um, shades from other brands. That looks so pretty. Okay, well, as you could see that applied really easily with a brush and it looks absolutely stunning. Blue to green is always a win for me but yeah loving how this is looking so far and yeah you can see for yourself so hopefully that shift so hopefully the shift is showing up to you guys on camera how it's looking to me because yeah i'm i'm living for this shade stunning so I've picked out the little liner brush from the set and I'm going to pop some of this just on just a little blob on the back of my hand there and then what I'm going to do is use that to create the liner and applies really smoothly I'm gonna to have to add a bit more nice I don't want to do it too thin that you can't see the shift but also I don't want to go too thick either and cover up that green that's looking so pretty I'm just gonna add a little bit more just to thicken that line Okay. Hello, Jace. I love you too. I love you too. That looks really pretty. I'm loving it. Ooh. I am... Um, I'm loving how that's looking. So I'm going to let this dry, pop a base on, and I'll come back and we'll try some more of these products. But yeah, so far I am super happy. So just stay where you are. Okay guys, so I've popped on my base. I did do my under eyes. I just used a couple of the mattes from the Micro Beauty Shop Glacier palette. And then I popped some of Invasion just along there. Um, so I'm going to pop a bit of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just going to pop a little bit just on my hand there. And I'm going to pop some of that just on the inner corner of my eyes. And then I'm going to, I've popped some of the loose pigment in the lid and just using the same brush I am just going to dip into that and pop that oh that's pretty 
That is pretty. And pop that on my inner corners there. Okay, that is, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. And then just doing the same on the other side. Well, apparently we're doing a little bit more on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Let's just top that one up a little bit as well then. Yeah, I'm just dragging it up and into the top of the look there. And then down into the lower lash line. That looks stunning. And then I'm going to pop a bit of that up under my brow, just like so. Ooh. That looks so pretty. I'm feeling very mermaidy. So that tap dancing sound is my puppy. Um. That is so pretty. Oh, yes. Okay. Huge win. Huge win. And then I'm going to get some of the glitter gel in the shade Capella. Let me just get this open. And again, just from the lid there. I am going to, I'm going to use that and dab that kind of where I would put, where I would put the highlighter. That is, that is so nice. I'm just making Please excuse Jace's mini woofings. There's a lot of work going on in the street. A lot of workmen. <laughs> so, yeah, so you probably hear a lot of background noise, so I do apologise for that. Ooh, that looks so pretty. That would be good for, like, across your collarbones, anywhere on your face, on your eyes. That looks so nice. It hasn't lifted the foundation or anything. Ooh, I'm loving it. Okay, so the last thing I have here to try is the lip gloss. Uh, the metallic lip gloss in the shade Flame. And I have a feeling this is just going to go perfectly. Oh, it feels really smooth. It's almost got the feel of like a mixture between like a gel and a gloss. Oh, that's looking so good. So I'm going to quickly nip off, finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished look and have a chat to you, with you, about these products and what I think of them. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, my beauties, I am back. This is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I am feeling very mermaidy. I'm, I'm loving it. Um, everything else I've popped on my face, you will find listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. So, let's have a chat about these products. First off, I want to say for a mystery bag, I've got hair attached to my chin. 
cat hair. Um, for a mystery bag, I thought that there was a really good amount of products, a good mix of products, and yeah, overall extremely happy with what I received. So I will start with the brush set. Um, unfortunately, they, they don't really work for me, but then I am very fussy with brushes. So I'm pretty sure my niece is gonna absolutely love them. So no loss there. Um, and also the powder puff, I don't use powder puffs, but my daughter does. So she is gonna be over the moon with that. Okay, now on to the rest of the products. I will, should I go in order of what I used? I can't even remember the order. Okay, so I will start with the pressed eyeshadow. I have the shade Invasion. This is absolutely stunning. I applied it with a brush. I didn't use glitter, glitter primer. I didn't spray the brush. It looks absolutely stunning. I'm definitely going to want to try more of their Shifty Shadows. Yeah, super win there. The liquid eyeshadow, um, I have the shade Cassiopeia. Yep, Cassiopeia. Um, I don't tend to use liquid eyeshadows as an eyeshadow. I use them as liner or for detail work. Um, today I used it as liner and as you saw, it applied beautifully, it set down, it looks stunning another big win um the the loose pigment is super sparkly super cute obviously you saw me pop that on my inner corner and brow bone and i think it just looks gorgeous um so yeah i would definitely be interested in trying more loose pigments from them although loose pigments aren't something i use so often but i'm trying to I'm trying to incorporate them a little bit more um but yeah super happy with that the glitter gel is stunning and i could definitely see me using this for say if i was going out in an evening across like my collarbones um just it's beautiful it's not sticky at all it dried down beautifully it didn't remove my foundation loving that and it's you get a huge tub that that's huge um i'm i don't think i'm ever going to get through that amount you never know um and then finally the lip gloss i have the shade flame this is so comfortable and it's a really it's not like that super gloss it's it's almost like a hybrid between a cream and gloss feel it's really comfortable i think it looks stunning and yeah, I mean, I was vaping away in between and it stayed on. So, yeah, super happy with that. And I'm getting quite into glosses. I don't know if it's the time of year or because I'm aging. I have no idea. Whatever it is, I'm getting quite into lip glosses. So, yeah, super happy to have that. And I do have an eyeshadow palette on the way from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. It is then, there is another new one. But it's one of the new ones, Criminal. I'm super excited to get that and try it out. So yes, you will be seeing that coming up really soon. But yeah, overall, another really exciting indie brand. Yeah, super happy. Loving my look. Loving it. Um, so yeah, guys, that's about it from me i will link the website for beauty moon cosmetics in the description box below for if you want to go check out their site um like i said i did pick up the 20 pounds mystery bag um but they have so many products they also have some like jewelry and um like the head headbands headpieces things like that um so yeah go check them out have a look at what else they have they've got some eyeshadow palettes there's all sorts on there. It would take me too long to list them. So yes, guys, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. If you are new around here and you like colourful makeup, you like to see more indie brands, then if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do hit the subscribe button. It would be so wonderful to have you along for the ride with me. Um, 
So yes, I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spa like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday.